Hi, W R O. Is Steve there? Yeah, listen to me. Steve, let me introduce myself. I'm the Chucker from Power 92 Radio. How are you? Hey, fine, Chucker. What's been going on, man? Oh, uh, nothing much, you know, here and there. How's the market treating you? Um, okay. Well, let me explain why I'm uh, taking up some time from you. I was hanging out in the uh, Chucker's Playhouse, and we came across a tape of you. Oh, right. And I just dug it. I was wondering if you could give me a couple of tips. I've been uh, doing this gig now for a couple of months, and uh, it's getting kind of rocky here and there. Oh, really? Yeah, you know, sometimes I, I try to pull off those liners, and I just can't seem to get the timing down right. <laughs> yeah, I, I know what you mean. Uh, one of the things that I've learned in just the last few years is that I've stopped prepping as much as I do. You know, I could kind of tell that as I listen to your tape. Yeah. yeah you know, because uh, it's, it's like a David Letterman syndrome now. Things are just, people expect things to happen so spontaneous. So you're telling me I shouldn't even, like, prep for my show, just walk in and just off the top of my head. I always know what I'm going to do next, but not how I'm going to do it. You know, I like that. You kind of, you know what you're going to do next, but the audience has no idea. Right, right. Oh. Yeah, that's one of the promos we use for, for the morning show, where you never know what's going to happen next, and neither, neither do we. Can I write that down? Yeah, sure. Sure, no you problem. never know what's going to happen next. That's beautiful. It was a great bit. You know, I have a great bit. When I'm doing the weather, I say, it's kind of cold outside. Let me take a leak out the window. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, ever, you ever use that one, man? No, I will, though. I'll see you now. Feel free to write it down. Yeah. I tell you, I was listening to this tape of yours, and you do this bit about... Uh, this guy that dresses up in his, in his mom's clothes, his female clothes? Yeah. yeah. How, how does that go? Oh, that's, uh... Because <laughs> that is funny. Yeah. Uh, that's just something we make up, and uh, just, just that spontaneous thing. We just get a character in here and go for it. It was like, I've told you a thousand times, don't wear your father's clothes. Yeah. That is funny. Yeah. I tell you, man, we do all kinds of bits here at uh, Power 92. Yeah. And one of them is that we, like, do our own joke calls. Oh, right, right. And this is one of them. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering why you were talking like, oh, la, 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 la. Oh, no, that's how I normally talk, man. No, it can't be. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Oh, you're a beautiful human being. Let's wrap this up here. <laughs> well, thanks. I appreciate you calling me a beautiful human being. I'll, I'll, yeah, that's why I work on radio, though, actually. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Now, there you go again with that spontaneous stuff, man. <laughs> this is true. Oh, well, listen, man. I can't thank you enough for taking the time out. I know you big-time uh, major market dudes are hard to pin down. Well, you know, that's where we get the big bucks. Oh, I heard that, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you what. Anytime you're in town, just stop by and, hell, we'll do a dual shifter. Yeah, I'll be up there when the same thing on the Vikings next, next year. There you go. Okay, bud. Thanks a lot. Well, thanks for checking in, Jack. I appreciate it, man. Mañana.